Welcome to the world of CNC laser cutters, the past, the present, and the future. A laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Why is this so fascinating? Well, the answers lie in the boundless abilities of laser cutting. CNC laser is fast, accurate, safe, economical, and reliable, and yet very simple. Carving intricate contours in diverse materials, it is now a globally recognized fundamental technology. Laser cutting without direct contact minimizes heat stresses, workpiece contamination, material handling, and tool wear, while maximizing speed, quality, material utilization, and finish. Also, its positional accuracy is right on, precisely why it compares favorably with plasma cutting, punching presses, and abrasive water jet cutting. Transparency Market Research expects the global laser cutter market to clock a 10.3% compounded annual growth rate between 2014 and 2020 and hit 4.37 billion US dollars by 2020. Laser and CNCs are mutually compatible technologies, but for half a century after Albert Einstein first theorized them in 1917, lasers remained a solution seeking a problem. When returning to their original energy level, excited electrons emit laser, a super powerful, intense, and coherent light beam with negligible bending around corners. Lasers cut by melting, burning, or vaporizing very thin zones of metals, plastics, paper, wood, and fabrics. Nitrogen or oxygen gas jets flush the molten debris. Oxygen also amplifies laser cutting power and CNC amplifies laser cutting's inherent capabilities. Computerized numerical control, CNC, is the guiding of machine tools with computers. John Parsons, father of the second industrial revolution, developed the first CNC system in 1947. Kemplon and Mazek Super Turbo X612 High Pro Supercharger Laser Cutter. Kemplon Engineering has gainfully employed the definitively precise Mazek Super Turbo X612 High Pro Supercharger Laser Cutter since 2012. Capable of non-stop automated operations, the workhorse's constant beam length delivery cuts different materials of varied thickness. It operates without complex jigs and fixtures while minimizing setup time, operational cost, and failures. Mazex Super Turbo X612 High Pro Supercharger Laser Cutter with smooth workpiece handling and the X612 breezes through half inch thick mild steel, quarter inch of stainless steel, and 3 16 inch of aluminum sheets. Evolution. CNC laser cutting advances via headways in piercing capacity, drive and positioning technology, and control software. The aerospace, automobile, defense, consumer electronics, and medical device industries are its main consumers. Pioneering specialist Western Electric Engineering Research Center built the first viable laser cutter in 1965. It drilled holes in diamond dyes. By 1967, the British were cutting metals with lasers. The same year, a German scientist built a laser cutting nozzle to cut one millimeter thick metals using a carbon dioxide laser with oxygen assist gas. In the 1970s, the aerospace industry cut titanium with lasers. 1975 saw the first commercially viable carbon dioxide laser cutter. These cut non-metals. While acquiring popularity, they still retain their top spot. Only fiber lasers cut holes smaller than material thickness. Introduced in 2008, they are faster than carbon dioxide lasers, but cannot cut as deep. Between 2000 and 2010, linear drives combined the accuracy of ball screw drives with the speed of rack and pinion drives and replaced both. 3D laser cutters, 3D lasers minimize processing time. With six axes, including a rotary tube chuck, they cut structural, high value, spun, formed, and flat parts. CNC laser cutting in shipbuilding. CNC laser cutting offers shipyards the recommended high uptime, fast production, and low turnaround time. Using lasers, Japanese shipyards reported a 10% productivity hike in 2001. Shipyards use lasers to cut vessel skeleton, skin, hatches, stiffener plates, block parts, and pipes. Shipyards first used laser cutters in 1995. 
A major milestone came in 1997 when laser bevel cutters first cut complex ship parts while operating from any angle. In 2006, shipyards first used a 5 kilowatt carbon dioxide laser cutter. Future. Recent developments in manufacturing technology, economy, and industry have upgraded laser cutting. Hybrid laser-assisted oxygen cutters that cut 2-inch thick plates with 2 kilowatt lasers offer promise. Present laser cutters are limited to cutting 3 fourths of an inch of mild steel and half an inch of stainless steel. Fabricators prefer lasers when cutting materials less than 8 one hundredths of an inch thick. Direct diode lasers can now correctly focus laser beams. With better electrical efficiency and low heating, they hold much potential. Recently, a German research project, Brylamet, successfully cut 6 mm stainless steel with direct diode lasers at feed rates exceeding 2 meters per minute. Ultra short or ultra fast pulsed lasers are gaining ground. And we remain committed to harnessing the infinite potential of this fabulous technology in the near future.